Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. Dot com. In this video, we'll step through a basic installation of Oracle Linux 8. At the boot screen, we need to decide if we're going to test the media. I'm not going to bother for this installation, so I just up arrow and hit the return key. Pick your preferred language and click the continue key. We can click each of these sections to amend the default settings. First click the installation destination link. We could click the done button and accept the defaults, but I'm going to check the custom checkbox then click the done button. We can click this link to give us a basic partitioning scheme. If you're happy with it, you can click the done button. I'm going to remove the slash home mount point and add the extra space to the slash mount point. Click the done button and accept the changes. Click the software selection link. Here you can customise the packages to be installed. I don't want any extra packages so I'll just check a couple to show you, uncheck them and then click the done button when I'm finished. Next we click the networking link. Enable the adapter and click the configure button. Click the general tab and make sure this connects automatically. Click the IPv4 settings tab. This is where we would configure a static IP address, but I'm going to accept the default DHCP setting by clicking the save button. We can set the host name here, but don't forget to click the apply button. When you're finished, click the done button. We're now ready to click the begin installation button. While the installation takes place, we can set up some credentials. Click the root password link. Enter and confirm the password and click the done button. Click the user creation link. Enter the user credentials and make it an administrator. When you're finished, click the done button. Now we have to wait for the installation to complete. I'll speed this up so you don't have to wait too long. Click the reboot button and once the screen comes back, click the license information link. Accept the license agreement and click the done button. Click the finish configuration button. I'm going to log in as the root user. On first login we go through these setting screens. Pick the language and click the next button. Pick the keyboard layout and click the next button. I turn off the location services and click the next button. I skip the online account settings and click the start using Oracle Linux server button. The getting started help videos appear. Let's close them. And that's the installation complete.
Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.